I'm going to be investigating uh, our Python project, NewPick, New Minta platform for intelligent computing. And we need to, uh, first of all, it's Python 2. And I'm reminded every time I'm at the command line that it's Python 2 end of life is January 2020. So we need to uh, potentially uh, upgrade NewPick or uh, port NewPick to use Python 3. So I want to start, I mean, we haven't decided to do anything yet. We're going to have a meeting tomorrow. But I want to start thinking about this. So um, first of all, I should get a couple of things straight here. Pull this chat bar out. Probably tell. No, no, I don't need that. I don't need that. <clears throat> and then Discord and streaming. So I'm just letting people in Discord know that I'm doing something. All right. Um, deal. is that we're going to have to write all of our new code. Any new code we write needs to be in Python 3. Since Python 2's end of life is coming, we can't legitimately continue writing code that we know is not going to be supported. So we have to write new Python in Python 3. That means we cannot use new pick one point whatever because it's Python 2.7, obviously. So we have two choices, write all of our new HTM code. And the reasons we write new HTM code is if we wanted to put supporting code for a research paper, that would be one reason to do it. Or uh, just a reference implementation of, of something um, so people could understand how it works and see it working. That's sort of one of the reasons that NuPic exists, although it's it has been optimized to some extent. Um, so we could just do without NuPic entirely. That's an option. Um, knowing it, it, we still have an implementation in Python 2.7 if we need it. It'll still be there. If anyone wants to use it, they would just have to maintain their own Python 2.7 environment. Or we could port NuPic to Python 3. Um, I'm going to, um, I'd like to know how much effort this is going to take. I have a feeling it's going to take quite a bit of effort. Uh, but so I was just going to spend the next hour or so in the new pick code base investigating, um, what it might take to get, you know, <clears throat> whoops. <laughs> oh yeah. I was going to put on some music first. It's a Grateful Dead day. This is, I think this is the first Grateful Dead album. That's a pretty good album. It's got Morning Dew on it, that's a good one. There we go. So we're gonna be investigating new pick which is Python 2.7. I think I have the environment all set up. I'm running this in PyCharm again. I just ran a test suite. So what I'm gonna do is we're going to, I'm gonna give myself permission to hack NuPic to shreds. So let's check out the branch and we'll call it Python 3. Um, so we're gonna be working on a branch and we're gonna give ourselves permission to hack this branch to shred. So first of all, I'm gonna take out all the swarming code. I'm just gonna delete it. I'm, I'm trying to simplify, I wanna simplify this. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do a few things at once. Here. Get rid of that. Get rid 
that. Okay. Uh, let's just leave the dashboard up, I guess. Sorry, I was working on another place. All right. So, um, I'm going to continue deleting things. Examples, I'm not going to touch the OPF yet because I, I do want to pull out the OPF. I don't really want the OPF. But we have a lot of tests that use the OPF because it's convenient. And I don't want to lose the functionality of those tests. So, did I remove swarming? I think I just removed swarming. I removed the examples. So, I need to go, where is swarming? I know swarming is in here. Source, new pick, here we go, swarming. Let's delete this, and I'm just gonna see what breaks. We'll delete swarming, we'll delete swarm examples, and we'll delete swarming tests, which are all long running tests. Let's just delete the whole thing, let's just get rid of it. Now let's run the tests and let's watch everything break. Okay, no module name swarming, of course. Um, so this exp generator test, where is this coming from? Excuse me, exp generator. No, no, that's not what I wanted. I like auto scroll from source. Okay, exp generator test. This is an integration test. This is experiment generator. Okay, but it's pulling in all this stuff from swarming. Why? Why? Why is it why is it pulling in swarming stuff? To get a job ID. Uh Okay, so I'm pretty sure some of the experiment generator stuff depended on swarming logic to set up experiments that would swarm and then run tests afterwards or something like that. So all this stuff like this. This is all like old, old stuff, but I hate, I don't know what tests, what are the tests in here that we're running? Cert is int, so I, I have a bad feeling this is like a base class. Yeah, of course it is. Experiment test base class, what extends this? Positive experiment tests. Anything else? That's the only thing that extends it. Experiment test base class, positive experiment test. I, w I would love to try and delete swarming, that's why I'm in here, because. but this test requires swarming libraries so I want to figure out what this test is doing test prediction element test correct behavior in response to different settings in the prediction element so stream definition hot gem um, experiment description this shouldn't need swarming this should need swarming hopefully uh, I'm gonna have to open a window it's getting hot in here Test metrics. Where are the tests that, this is a long class. This is a lot of tests. Ugh, look at this. This is 2,000 lines of code. Uh, test swarm size. Why do we need to test swarm size? Okay, hold on. I know there's a way I can show structure swarm size. So yeah, my test environment, here we go. Positive test show schema, prediction element. So maybe there's just a few of these tests. T test aggregation swarming. I wonder if I can like no, I'll just Ignore? I, how do you ignore a test? Does this ignore? No, that's just a private thing. <clears throat> I'm just going to delete it. Uh, but I lost it. Where'd it go? Experiment test. Uh, 
where you go, test, aggregation, swarming, and then right afterwards is test. Let me see what it does. Test that we correctly generate a multi-step prediction experiment that uses aggregation swarming. Okay, so here's another, here's another thing I need to add to the list of experiment generator. So we're going to lose experiment generator and all the experiment generator tests. That's one thing um, that I hadn't thought about. But that's okay. I mean, that's a pretty old system. We don't use it anymore. Nobody uses it. <laughs> I should keep notes. Um, so we're going to lose... Not loose. Lose. Swarming. And experiment generator let's let's go straight in and delete the experiment generator I mean we're gonna go all in we're gonna go all in and I don't see us keeping this type of stuff especially that nobody's using and and that's a part of the OPF see ah, but the thing that bugs me is I know that some of these tests are testing valid things and they're doing it through the OPF so this is gonna be hard this is going to be hard. Um, we're going to have to look into not just the OPF tests, but the experiment generator tests, it appears. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe they're all isolated. Let's look at these tests. So these, these are all helpers. These aren't even tests. They're all helpers and assertions. The test is really in this positive, so show schema. This is, again, an experiment generator test. Okay, so this is, I think this is okay to get rid of. All the experiment generator stuff. Yeah, and it does some swarming, but that's okay. So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Let's delete the experiment generator test. Yes and then go find <clears> the <throat> experiment generator, which is in the OPF, which is framework, OPF, experiments, yeah, yeah, oh. I'm not gonna, you know what, I'm just gonna leave it. Let's leave it. Let's leave it there and, and try and see what else we're failing. Run OPF benchmark tests. Okay, so there's swarming in OPF benchmark tests. Why? Why? I don't know. Um, OPF benchmarks to ensure, run OPF benchmarks to ensure changes don't degrade prediction accuracy. This is done using a set of standard experiments with thresholds for the prediction metrics. Limiting the number of permutations can cause the test to fail. Okay, for prediction metrics. Changes don't degrade, okay. See, see I'm afraid. Why, why are we swarming though? We're... Do we have to go to swarming to get the XP generator? That doesn't make any sense. The XP generator is part of swarming. And permutations render is part of swarming. I had no idea. I thought that was something different. Well, that's why I didn't find it. Okay, interesting. Um, all right, how are we using this? I gotta open a window, excuse me. Probably gonna be a lot louder in here, but and you'll hear sirens occasionally. But whew, that's so much better. Hit a breeze. Uh, all right, so here's a test, well, a function called generate modules. This is in a test. Why isn't this auto scrolling? Shouldn't it? I would expect it to auto scroll from source to that's only on this screen 
auto scroll from source. I wanted to do the same thing for structure. Alphabetically auto scroll from source there. Generate modules. There we go, okay. Generate modules. Uh what calls generate modules? A lot of stuff. OPF benchmark runner. A lot of stuff. Calls generate modules. Okay, let's take a look at this. Benchmark sawtooth. What kind of test is this? Try running a basic experiment and permutations. So even this uses generate modules, which uses experiment generator, which comes from the swarming library. You wrote all that code? <laughs> I, I'm not going to thank you. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, so I'm trying to like detangle this stuff and it's not going to be pretty. Uh, all I want to do is figure out like the minimum footprint and I'm going to have to tear out the OPF entirely. Okay, let's say screw the tests. So, so there's, well don't screw the tests. But I'm um, ignoring the huge worry I have. Because there is, a, I've got a huge legitimate worry that all these OPF tests in here Tons, we've got tons and tons of OPF tests. Like, uh, you could just run these and they're gonna fail because I removed the swarming library. <laughs> but there's a ton of tests in here and they're not just testing the OPF. They are testing the algorithms. I'm certain of it. I'm certain there are many tests in here that are testing HTM functionality, not just the OPF framework because we wrote the OPF to have a simple experiment interface around the algorithms. So that was the natural level to test, to write the functional tests. Now we're paying for it because if we want to keep the proper test coverage that we have within the OPF test suite, we have to rewrite the tests, not against the OPF interface, but against the network API or algorithms interfaces, which is not going to be fun or we take a test coverage hit big time, which is another option. That's something we could potentially do too. You know, I didn't even think about that, but I'm gonna write that down. <clears throat> Cause I'm trying to figure out all of our options. And we have, there's a lot of options when we're talking about porting, porting this, this second option. First of all, we could do nothing and all of our new code would would just be new code and maybe we'd write a really simple htm library like so many people have and and write it exactly what we want for whatever application we're working on um that's an option that would honestly be the lowest touch easiest way to move forward the the downside is we'd have to write extra code uh to support research code that already exists in NuPic. so we were going to have to re-implement some things some htm things but we could do it sort of piecemeal and didn't take what we want. Um, the other thing, oh yeah, this port Nupic to Python. There's a million, there's a lot of ways we could do this. I don't think it's worth moving the OPF. I don't think it's worth moving swarming, but now, so I went in to say, well, I know we don't need swarming. I always say that. And so I went in to look, uh, to figure out what it would take to just remove the swarming library. And I found out, okay, all the OPF tests pass. That's amazing. Uh, I didn't expect them to. Uh, I'm gonna talk with Subutai and Lewis about this tomorrow and I'll get a better idea of these tests. Like this is testing region. I just can't, I know there's gotta be some functional testing in here that we might, that's testing the function out, like HTM functionality that I don't want to throw out when we throw out the OPF. So, but assuming that we figure out what that is, I want to just like delete the OPF, just delete it like that. That means we delete all the OPF tests, frameworks, OPF, delete all the OPF tests. 
Okay, so now we've deleted a bunch of stuff. <laughs> um, let's see what tests look like now. Um, I think I busted something. So even so, no, we're still running into problems because there's a JSON object in in swarming library that <laughs> we're using as JSON, which is weird. Why are we doing that? Why are we doing that? Why are we? Why did we define our own JSON object? Can't we just import JSON? I mean, I'm going to make an assumption that, that might work. No, it's not that simple. Well, that maybe that test passed, actually. I think that test passed. So what's our first, again, permutations runner, run OPF benchmark test. So again, we're, we're deleting tests. So we're, we're going to delete the whole regression folder. OK, what else? Dictutils tests our copy. <laughs> this is a mess. This is a mess. What is this doing here? Why? What is our copy? First of all, who knows what our copy is? I'm gonna look it up. Python R copy. R no no. How about just R copy? R copy. Oh, it's a Linux file utility. Simple file copy over RDMA. Source server port. Okay, so it's. Why are we R copying this? Uh, why are we doing this in a dict utils test? Okay, so this is just a utility library. So, and apparently we implemented our own R copy functionality in in the swarming utilities, and we were using it in the general tests as a, as a utility. So I'm just gonna say this is messy. This shouldn't really be like this. Um, what to do about it, however, since I deleted swarming. Let's go see what our copy did, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna have to check out. Get, oh, I have to reset. I gotta like, no, get. Reset, is it check out? I forget. <clears throat> I want, where did I put the swarming? Where was the swarming? Just source swarming, I think. Source nupix swarming. Let's put this back. Sorry, get reset head. Okay, so that should be back. Where are you? Now, should this run? So, why don't I fix tests first? It's still not running. Did I not put it back? Where did it go? It should be. Uh, oh, it's source new pick. You're not there. Okay. I have to check it out. Okay, there it is. All right. Um, okay, so this is looking better. I still extensive temporal memory test. Look at these amazing test names. Test H, test H10, test H2, test H3. Oh, that's H10. <laughs> um, okay, uh, where was I? So let's, uh, I don't want this R copy. Why is it here? We don't know. So let's, let's, here's what I'm gonna do. For now, I'm just gonna go sort of piecemeal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, nuke this whole thing. We're going to nuke... I don't know how much of this we're going to need. We shouldn't need any of it. These are swarm utilities, so we shouldn't need any of this code, but we do. So stop. Stop that. Kill everything. Um, so it should still run. If Nope, 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 nope. Something else. What is it? Something else needs our copy. 
I thought I I thought oh identity identity conversion what's that Let's see here's something else identity conversion some little function that just returns the value not the keys <laughs> but it needs it okay okay <laughs> so we may have identified we may have figured out what the only thing left over in swarming so so can I now delete this this init is gonna stay but can I delete this stuff let's try to delete that remember this is oh it's not safe to delete huh <laughs> view usages it's gonna tell me right what I want uh, potentially unsafe usages <coughs> excuse me one's in an example that's okay the other is a, those are in examples that's okay okay Ra do refactor okay all right so all I got left is utils here and I sh really should be able to delete those please please let me just delete them and please run and pass the tests that's good that's good okay so all I have in this swarming I don't need this init anymore I can delete that all I have in this in this swarming library is the one silly R copy that's being used somewhere else I can I can refactor that later and I, I'm gonna de delete all this ridiculous stuff okay and this too All right, that's all we're using in swarming. Now we can, uh, at least I think, that's all we're using in swarming. Tests are still running. These are all the tests. And I think I removed the long running swarming tests. So these are like TM likelihood tests. So this, this interests me, like this test, because this is a Nupic algorithms test. So this obviously is testing the algorithm. And if I can prove to myself that all of the real functional testing is happening at this level, I would be very happy. Because, um, uh, because uh, and it, ooh, that's, that's a good sign that all of these are happening here after I turned off the OPF. Or I'm not running the OPF tests. Where's the OPF tests? Unit, Nupic not data frameworks. Yeah, I removed the OPF tests and we're still getting a lot of good tests in here. What are, so here's one that's skipped. Uh, oh, because it's long. So that's just a long running test. Also a long running test. So we're doing a network checkpoint test. Ooh, is that a network checkpoint test what does that do is it doing serialization I thought a checkpoint was yeah so it says checkpoint midway run and create network checkpoint midway save and load network how's it doing it count proto Okay, so here's another thing that we're going to want to remove is serialization. So we're probably going to remove this, but I'm not going to do it right now. Um, I want to see what else. All of that's passing. What are we still waiting for? We're waiting, still waiting on algorithms, unit tests, backtracking TM. Oh, okay. So here's another good, th good thing. We can remove the backtracking TM. We can remove backtracking TM tests because we're not going to keep it. And the reason we're not going to keep it is it's not biologically plausible. It was it was sort of a hack, um, and we're not using it anymore. All of our new stuff uses a more biologically uh, plausible temporal memory algorithm um, that works better with sensory motor integration, movement feedback, and stuff. And the other reason that I'm not going to keep this is because it has t 
ties into the, the C NUPIC bindings data structures it, through NumPy somehow. Um, the, it requires cells for uh, C++ uh, module and that gets real up close and personal with NumPy and it is that version locks us to Python 2.7. If we were to take backtracking TM with us, we would have to rewrite cells 4 or ha uh, so that it works with Python 3 NumPy. Um, and we don't want to do that. It would be a lot extra since we're not going to use it. We're going to take it out. <clears throat> so all these backtracking TM constant test, basic test, where is this? This whole thing, backtracking TM constant test, all the backtracking TM tests, delete. Yep, delete them. And now the backtracking TM. There's a bunch of backtracking stuff here we can delete. Like I said, I'm not, uh, this is, an, ex this is a, an investigation. Okay, so I've got some usages I can find here. This is an investigation. This is not, I'm not doing this to commit it. I'm doing it just to investigate what, how hard this is going to be before the meeting tomorrow when we decide what we're going to do. Um, performance benchmark. Ooh. Temporal memory performance benchmark. Okay, this is probably not necessary. Yeah. I don't care about that. I don't care. Uh, that's wrong. That's wrong. Isn't it? It's backtracking TM CP. I don't care about this script. I'm not going to touch the script. I let's re rerun. Rerun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Re yeah, view usages. Okay. <clears throat> I don't care about the script. It's not the script I wrote. It's not going to work anymore. I don't care. Uh, TM region, though. Uh, right. So there will be no. E it, it's only going to be this. Only going to be this. Okay. So that's that's okay. I can deal with that. New pick. Example. TM. Examples. Okay. So examples. Let's uh, how much of this? You know what? Uh, ignore. I'm gonna ignore the examples. I'm just looking. Benchmark test already did. Profiling. Algorithms. Okay. Temporal memory shim. So this is a real thing. For so this is to allow a temporal memory uh, a re region. This is sort of. I remember messing with this a while back the shim thing. Yeah, when I... <sighs> I hope you don't mind me eating in front of you. It's two right, two right ones. So I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do here. Hey, these aren't even being used. How is that being used? <clears throat> this doesn't seem right. Any accommodations the temporal memory region is making for the backtracking TM should be removed. But it's going to take some work to do it. But again, that's another place we would have to do work. <clears throat> okay. So. Lose swarming, lose 
Experiment generator. Lose OPF. And backtracking TM. Um, and uh, if we're going to have to update TM region. So to accommodate for, for losing one of its temporal memory implementations. Okay. We're obviously going to have to update tests. <coughs> okay, just do it. Just remove it. Remove it. We're going to see what happens. We're going to see how broken things get. Let's rerun tests. I don't think I broke anything. I am just removing stuff. So... What else can I remove? And the examples... Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to look at the examples yet. Or external. Scratch, that's mine. I don't know what is in script. Script I thought was for CI. No, the CI is in here. Uh... Docs, no. Okay, we're just looking at source, then. Swarming, that's just utils. It's moving average cap and P. Okay, so here's the other thing. Serialization. How... How... What are we gonna have to do to get rid of cap and P? I want to get rid of Captain P. So let's try and see what happens. <clears throat> Captain P, if you didn't know, is a uh, protocol buffer. It's based on protocol buffers and it's a serialization protocol. It's very generic and it's a PETA. I'm not a fan. never actually I have successfully used it however excuse me <laughs> I replaced a Redis database with Captain P serializations because I was storing my models directly into the Redis database are we done? There's a lot of tests that don't work. Oh, dang it. That's not what I wanted. I guess so, whatever. Okay. Invalid temporal implementation. <clears throat> uh oh. That was a that was a, an alarm from my outdoor science camp last week. I forgot to turn off. Delete, 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 delete. Okay. <clears throat> um, so this obviously has something to do with what I just did. Legal values are not are no longer pi cpp blah 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 okay so one of the tests is sending in pi like it obviously thinks it should work right but it doesn't because I broke it where is the test this test tm pi cpp cm results compare array results uh, it doesn't seem like obvious what the error is here. Temporal implementation is pi. <clears throat> oh, it's a runtime error. <laughs> yeah. 
this should work, right? TM, CPP. Which one did I remove? Now I've forgotten. Not this one. TM region, right? What was here? I removed PI, PY, and CPP. Those were the two cases that were the old backtracking TM. This test is testing something different. It's testing TMCPP, TMPy. Oh, between C++ and Python TM implementation. Hold on, what else is failing? Test, test hello world prediction, is it the same error? Yeah, so this should be easy because this is See, this test is expecting a backtracking TM, and I don't want to use a backtracking TM because I deleted it. Um, <clears throat> I'm looking at the wrong test. No, no, no. Hold on. This is the test. Where's the TM? There's a string indicating. There it is. TMCPP. Temp4 implementation. TMCPP. <clears throat> and I oh no no wait is this different I need to change that legal values are pi oh that's weird what did I what did how did I I'm super confused now because what I removed was a check for PY or LFCPP. Those are the only things I removed. So if I take, if I, if I put this back, let's put it back. Put this back too. And then I rerun those. It's still gonna break. Well, obviously because. This thing, these things don't exist. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. None. <laughs> None. All right, now do your, now do it. Seriously, type error? <laughs> so it's actually getting to that point, and why is it getting to this point? Let's debug. Uh, let's, can I, how do I, let's debug that. I'm running too many tests. Hold on. Don't run all those tests. Just run, where am I? TM region. <clears throat> Not integration. Unit, algorithm regions tm region debug that okay so my temporal imp is cpp but why look there it is check tm region impl skip unless unit test skip unless oh, what's going on i should pay attention to like work stuff This is all work stuff. Um, so there's an annotation on here that says skip unless cap and p, pi cap and p is not installed. Skipping serialization test. Okay. Okay. Test read write CPP so I can just delete this because I'm going to assume pi cap and p. Delete all this. I'll delete this, delete this. I don't want this. Do I need anything in here? Check. No. Oh, yeah, there's an assertion, but does anything use it? <clears throat> I don't think it's even running anymore. Try again. No tests were found. Yeah. Okay. 
Oops. How that happen? <clears throat> All right, so I'm just tearing stuff up in a new pick, trying to figure out how easy it's going to be to get this narrowed down to just sort of core stuff. I've removed swarming, exp generator, OPF, backtracking TM. I haven't removed cotton P yet, but I've removed some of the tests. I've identified some of the things that we're going to have to update. Okay, what else? I'm going to go looking for more stuff to remove. Uh, as long as these tests are running and passing, I'll leave them. <clears throat> okay, algorithms. Likelihood, backtracking. Oh, I wanted to remove these. I thought I did. I did, and then it complained. Let's go ahead and remove them. We have to remove them. Don't even save delete. Just delete them. See how that happens. That's not going to be happy. That's not going to make the test happy, probably. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Of course, TM likelihood test. Anything that's using backtracking TM is getting deleted. So where, what do we got going on here? This whole thing, we're not using this at all. CM, TPP, backtracking TM, they're going away. Nope, whatever. <laughs> Anything that's using create TMs, I guess, which is essentially gonna be this whole thing, right? Create TMs. Every test. Okay, so there's likelihood test one is going away. Likelihood test two is going away. And all these are going away because they're just depending on them. And that means I think everything is or not. And this whole test is testing the backtracking TM. Okay, so there, there wasn't even an import for the, for the normal temporal memory. So this whole test is going to be gone. Go away. All right, let's just run these tests. <clears throat> Got some more backtracking TM stuff. So uh, anybody just joining me, I'm... I'm doing an investigation, an initial investigation of, I'm trying to figure out what it's going to take to upgrade this, what I'd call a legacy Python code base uh, called NuPic, the Nementa platform for intelligent computing from Python 2 to Python 3, because Python 2 end of life is coming soon, January 2020, and we're going to have to adjust to it. So we're either going to have to write all of our new HTM code without NuPic at all, which is a possibility. Or we're gonna have to port NuPic to Python 3, and I am trying to figure out how hard that's gonna be, because we have a meeting tomorrow, and we're gonna talk about this, and we're gonna decide what to do, and I wanna be fully informed. So I am trying to figure out how hard this is gonna be. So I've spent the last, I don't know, hour or so just trying to figure that out. So this looks like it's the same format. It's got to create TMs, and then create TMs is used basically in every test. Uh, where are we at here? Test config. All right, let's just delete the create TMs and see what see um, all the things that breaks. Okay. Okay. So this one breaks, test config. That's it. There may be other tests in here. All right, so rerun. Run, rerun failing. What do we got? TM test. Oh yeah, I didn't remove the imports. Oh yeah, now there's still backtracking, so I have to do that one too. Uh, all I gotta do for that is delete. And that's easy enough, unless there was, it was somewhere else too. This file is way too big, okay? I wanna just, anybody, any budding young programmers, 
don't put so much stuff in one file. If you've got even a test file, if it's over a thousand lines, refactor it, break it up. It needs to be broken up. Um, good grief, that's a lot of comments. This is important. This TM test is important, so I definitely don't want to screw anything up. Where is this imports at? This is like one of the biggest things in our code, you know, the temporal memory algorithm. All right, so I can get rid of this backtracking TM. And pickle, C pickle, random, sys. Look at all those imports we can clean up. Now, try run again. All right, still having problems. Another reference to backtracking TM. How, how did it get there? Well, ha, global. Why is it doing? Why are we doing that? Why? 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 This is. I don't know why. <clears throat> And here it is again, backtracking TM. This needs to go away. This is gone. We can't have a backtracking TM. So this or this, if compare pi, uh, if compare pi is going to do nothing anymore. Um, so I'm just going to write pass there we're not even going to test it and we still have tm class uh, does not equal i don't know what what is tm class is this used somewhere it's another global <laughs> and it's set to the backtracking tm um, initially and there it is again is it ever set to anything else no it's always the backtracking tm see that doesn't that seems weird i don't like that at all why and that's the TM test and it seems like it's only testing the backtracking TM so we're gonna have to tease out there's another thing that we'd have to do to do this port we are gonna have to tease apart the ba the tests that are that are testing the backtracking TM versus the normal TM normal uh, the newer one the one from the neuron paper. That's the TM we're talking about. The uh, the algorithms that are simpler, the HTM school algorithms, that's that's the normal TM. This backtracking TM is doing some other wacky stuff. So I gotta make a note about this, okay. Tease apart TM tests. Isolate each. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know if this is going to be... Uh... See, I'm pretty sure that this test is something that we... This, uh, this, uh, this code doesn't make me happy. This doesn't spark joy. This code's not sparking joy for me today. Something about it. Oh, what is going on here? Okay, so we've got no pi tm anymore. There used to be a declaration for pi tm, and I and I removed it. Oh. Well. <sighs> Compared to pi. This TM class, I don't see how, how it's ever anything except the backtracking TM. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I need to check this out again because it's an important test and I think I may have already deleted too much. Uh, where is it? Test TM, uh, where did it go? Get, check out, S, oh no, test. Test. Tests. All right. Um, 
uh, algorithms, no, algorithms, what the heck? Tests, oh, unit, algorithms, seriously? New pick, of course, new pick. <laughs> algorithms, thank you. TM, is it not there? Oh, integration. Integration, new pick, algorithms, tm test dot pi. Okay. So this is already broken. This file performs a variety of tests on the reference temporal memory code. I just, I'm not certain which temporal memory algorithm it's testing or if it is testing both. If it is testing both, I certainly need to figure out how to separate them. Uh, so I don't need to do this right now, I just need to understand the complexity of the problem. So look, there's a bunch of unimplemented stuff here. Sequence noise tests, capacity tests, shared column tests, online learning tests. <clears throat> so we've got both. This isn't even using the new temporal memory algorithm. This is entirely the old backtracking TM. The whole file, it, it never imports it. it. You would import, you would import from new pick algorithms import temporal memory and it's not doing that so we're deleting the file there I feel better I feel better about that now I'm gonna get rewarded with the tricks hi Luca Ellen 300 line, I like that. 300 line works for me. This is a legacy Python code base. It's been around quite a while. Man. I'm so sorry to eat Twix in front of you. But you could go get your own. Um, okay, here's another file that says it's doing TM overlapping sequences. And the only implementation of TM it's pulling in is backtracking. So again, I'm deleting it. That's better. <clears throat> I'm really sorry. This is like the most boring engineering work you could probably put on Twitch. I'm refactoring in legacy Python code base and thing trying to port it to Python 3 from Python 2. This is like the work that you try and get other, that you try and contract out to other engineers because it's not fun to do. But, but I'm going to show you guys how I would do it, and am doing it. it. Can't always be a green field. The best case scenario, in my opinion, as a software developer, is to have a green field. You got a spec document for an application that doesn't exist, and your job is to build it from scratch, and that's super fun but it rarely, really happens. All right. I think all the tests passed. Okay, so I pulled, our, I pulled out the backtracking TM. So let's remove all the Cap'n P files. <laughs> All right, let's find star.cap and p, all of them. 
No? Oh, this is a manifest. Uh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted. I'll do it from the command line. Find Captain P and delete them. Then see how they like them apples. <clears throat> Let's run all the tests. I chose all the tests. Not just a subset of... Okay, so let's just run some of the tests. <laughs> let's run just the uh, unit test. What? I, I like just had the option? Oh, let me cut, kill this. Where did my option to run to the tests go? That's weird. I can do it from here, I can, but not here. I used to. Maybe from here. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Settle down. What do we got? Okay. Um, <clears throat> can't import utils test. That seems like a. That seems like just um, running the test from the wrong location. All right, let's just run the test normally. Okay, that's fine. Let's go to the top. K and N category test whatever, and the error is no module named K and N classifier CPP. Okay, great. So now we're getting to some real errors because I just deleted all the Captain Proto files. Um. Categories test. From Nupic algorithms, I can classify our CPP <coughs> if cap and P. So hopefully I can just remove this. What do you think about that? Run that test. Okay, maybe so. Not all, not run some of them. Run all of them. So now I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to find all the places. <clears throat> Got a lot of bad imports here. You know what? We're not going to try and import cap P anywhere. Skip unless. No. Skip unless. I cap P. God, why do we have all of these tests and they're dependent on PyCap and P? They shouldn't be. They shouldn't be! Right? Compare array results. This is not much of a test. Network checkpoint test. Cert equal. Results, results. And then another... What? Cert equal result one result two. Huh. I guess it's not I guess it's doing it a deep this isn't even running a test. This is this is useless. This next I, I deleted everything and this is just a helper that no longer serves any purpose. So <sighs> that sucks. Um, because it seems like there was some code in there that wasn't just testing serialization, right? I mean, I guess it is. It's just testing serialization. Uh, yeah. Let's create and run network. <clears throat> but it's not creating a checkpoint. Oh, it is. It's creating a checkpoint on the second one. Okay, so this is serialization test, so I'm deleting it. Oh boy, um, what's next? I deleted that one. What about this one? Anomaly likelihood Jeff test. <laughs> Apparently Jeff wanted a specific test <clears throat> to be written. 
and here we go. So what I really need to do is just find every place that we've we've gotten uh, pi cap and p, and just delete it. I can probably do that from the command line. Let's do ac import cap. And, is it pi cap and p? Was it? It's pi pi cap and p. Nope. Was it just cap and p? Yeah. <clears throat> Since source. So there's a lot of places. Actually, I'm probably going to do a search, would probably be better. Like here, find in path, import, cap and p. Open and find window. Here's one. Go away. Here's another. And connections. We did this on so many, so many places. Oh, import numpy. Okay, I hope this all works. Spatial pooler. Everything, everything. If cap and p. Nope. Okay. Temporal memory, the other temporal memory, delete, okay. <clears throat> oh good, so this shim is only for the backtracking TM, I think, which is good. Oh my gosh, it's everywhere. This is everywhere. Let's keep going. Don't need you there. Uh, don't need you here. I don't need you here. Who's still with me? I got one watcher. What, what's your name? What are you up to? What's going on? <laughs> Actually, I think I can tell. I think there's a way. Somehow. How do I... I know there's a way. I did it once. Oh no, I can't. I can't tell who's in the chat. A moderator. <laughs> it's probably Streamlabs. <clears throat> yeah. <coughs> that means one person watching is really zero. Uh, okay, back to... Code. This is, I've got more to go here. Another import cap and p. Delete. How many of them are we gonna have? Delete. Delete. If I were really clever, I'd write something to automate this, but I'm not, and I don't think it'll be worth the time. Even in the scalar encoder, Captain P has like hooks into the C versions of stuff, so that's why it's so nasty. I don't want to say nasty, it's just Seven more. In regions. In Canon. In Canon classifier region. Record sensor. SDR classifier. No, SDR classifier region. SP region, TM region, for the love P. There we go, and you don't need this. You don't need this anymore, although that's gonna break something. That is gonna break something. This is TM region. I don't need this cap P anymore. What did I just delete there? 
Something is going to break here. Something is going to break. Alright, run the tests again. I'm certain I broke something. What is it? No, no module named moving average. No, 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 that's not right. That's not right. What? How, how can... How does that happen? How did I miss... <coughs> Where's Nupik? Nupik? Did I delete something I shouldn't have? Apparently I did. So, oh, moving average cap and P. Oh, that's, oh, I didn't do this. Okay. That's weird. I thought I, I'm gonna have to search for something else. Cap and P is not defined. Mm-hmm. All right, more tests. I gotta skip. It's another test. I gotta skip. Try again. Canon classifier test again. Okay, so this is now. Oops. I am in unit tests now, and again I have got to search for import cap P. Let's find in path, before cap P, open and find, 37, okay. Did that break something somewhere? It seems like it would. Yeah, it does. Sure, sure as hell does. It's not gonna, it's not gonna save and load network. And it's not going to create and run network. All right. Um, I, I, I think that I can tell generally that this is going to take a good amount of work. I'm not going to say how many person months it might be, but a significant amount of time. Okay, I'm going to end the stream. Thanks for watching if you did.